Hey guys, what is up? Ioki here on our brand new second YouTube channel. Before we get into the video, please make sure that you're subscribed to this channel because I'm going to be uploading lots and lots of great stuff that you're not going to want to miss. That being said, I wanted to make this video as a short and to the point guide on how to build Senna support because there are a lot of Senna builds floating around and it is by far the most popular question that I get asked on my stream is, you know, how do you know what to build on Senna? What do you build on Senna these days? So I wanted to put together uh, a little tier list of sorts to help you guys know what is the best Senna builds uh, at this point in time. Because Senna is kind of a weird champion in that her build kind of changes depending on the meta or, you know, from patch to patch. So I don't know how long this guide is going to stay relevant. Um, but as of now, this, uh, you know, this is being recorded as we're going into patch 11.4. As of right now, this is, in my opinion, uh, this is my opinion on all the current Senna builds floating around so starting with the absolute worst one in my opinion Gale Force <laughs> so at the beginning of the preseason I was running Gale Force Senna which is full crit Senna and while Senna does scale better with crit chance this season I do not recommend this build anymore outside of basically just playing for fun uh, the active on Gale Force is fun and this build can work but it is by far the most uh, it's by far not the most efficient build not much really else to say about this build um, it was fun while it lasted, but there are so many better builds these days, uh, including the lethality builds. So speaking of the lethality builds, this is the worst lethality build you can go. And ironically, the worst one is the most popular one, because I think in-game, like when you're in-game, it recommends the items. Um, I think it always recommends Eclipse for some reason. But Eclipse is not ideal for Senna. It does give her a little bit of survivability with the passive shield. But honestly, it's just it's super tuned down for ranged users, and it's just really not that good. Um, the literal creator of the champion Senna, Riot August, frequently comes to my stream and complains about how many people build this item because they just don't know better. Um, I will say Senna is a champion that kind of feels good with lethality. It feels like she's meant to use lethality, so I see why people kind of radiate towards these lethality items. But with the way items are designed in Season 11, you're spending a lot of money on a support budget for an item that doesn't pack nearly as much of a punch as you would expect it to. Um, and what I will say is that when I do go lethality, I go Umbral Glaive first. I don't rush my mythic, I go Umbral Glaive, and I highly recommend you do the same. Because Umbral is a relatively cheap item that gives you all the stats you want on Senna, including lethality, AD, and most importantly, a god tier vision controlling passive. So honestly guys, Eclipse Senna is <laughs> its just not that good. So we're going to go from the worst to the best. So one move up the tier list is Duskblade. It's the other lethality Senna build. So onto the most, onto the almost actually good lethality Senna build. Duskblade was god tier in the preseason, which is when I was playing it. Uh, but now it's just pretty, it's just pretty good, which is as far as Senna support go, builds go, you know, it's, it's acceptable. It is by almost every account better than Eclipse. So that's a start. Um, you get your Dustblade damage off immediately, which lets you kind of like zip in and out of a fight without having to commit to like a two-hit passive um, to get efficiency out of your item. But again, this is still not the best, but if you're going to go for pure damage and kind of like a greedier build, this is this is pretty good. This is probably the build you're going to want to go for. Uh, next up is Kraken Slayer. This is the hottest build at the moment. Kraken Slayer Senna. So I mentioned this earlier about there being a requirement in Season 11 to sort of come online with one item. And I, I think this build is actually too expensive for support because it really only comes online when you get your Rage Blade, which is your second item. This is the most popular build for Senna ADC at the moment, and it's really good on her in the ADC role, but that's because they get their second item before mid-game, uh, which you typically won't do as support. So for that reason alone, while it is a fire build and it's super, super fun when you get to pop off with it and it feels great and it's just an overall good build, I think it's more of an ADC Senna build. Um, so yeah, it's just a little bit too expensive for a support Senna build, unfortunately. But, you know, build it if you want. It's still a good build. Uh, now we're going to move on to what I truly believe to be the best overall build. So we are moving on to Divine Sunderer. This is the build that I think in terms of offense and defense, cost efficiency, uh, survivability, stats, realistically being able to get these items in a game, uh, everything. I think this is the best build on Senna. So we're back to playing tank Senna, guys. We're, we're not running Grasp of the Undying. We're still going with the Glacial Augment rune, but we're going to be building these two items. You go Divine Sunderer, 
which gives you really easy sheen procs, very affordable build path, which is very important for support. Uh, you stack Black Cleaver faster than anyone else in the game, and uh, this build might actually protect you from getting one-shot, which, let's be honest, everything in the game is one-shotting at the moment, um, but not always. <laughs> uh, at this point, I really believe Divine Sunder, while not the flashiest or the most fun build, it is the way to go in almost all of your Senna support games. Um, and then there's one last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I'm sure if you watch my stream, you already know it's coming, but it's Zonia's, guys. Zonia's Hourglass. I am a huge believer in the Zonia's tech for Senna. Um, I, I, it's, I don't just do it for clickbait. I don't just do it for, you know, meme builds or whatever. I really think as a third item, Zonia's is so, 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 so good. Because if you're good and smart with the stopwatch active, you can get so much value out of it. Uh, plus, Senna got her AP ratios buffed this season, so you don't feel completely troll building it. But I'm serious. You can, like, bait out Malphite alts, which is just massive for your team. You can stall your cooldowns while you're while they're down and get another round of your spells off. You can just do so, so much with Zonia's. I really, really like that item. Um, but be prepared to get called a troll because, on the surface, it is kind of a troll build. Um, but I'm a firm believer in it, and I've used it for almost a year now. So with that, with all that being said, I just wanted to put together this video as a resource on my current thoughts on Senna support builds because I get asked them all the time in the stream. Um, and I hope this helps. I hope you guys got something out of this. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below or come to my stream and ask me and I'll, I, I'd be happy to help. So uh, that's twitch.tv slash Ioki. The link will be in the description. But that being said, guys, uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated if there's any new good builds or if uh, my opinions change on any of these. But Otherwise, take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching, and happy shooting, Cineplayers. Peace off.